Hello there everyone, it's me Greg Gizmodo, and today I'm continuing my uh, Minecraft vehicle tutorial series um, by building this, whoops, this, I always get that wrong, this bus here. Now this is a very special type of bus, it is a trolley bus, as you can see up here from the uh, pantograph and the electric cables. And basically, um, if, you, if, you, if you're not sure, uh, um, Basically, a trolley bus is um, a bus which uh, runs off electricity, obviously provided by these poles above, and therefore it's eco-friendly. Now, um, they've been around for quite some time, actually, at least since the early um, 20th century. However, um, they're not very commonly used compared to normal buses. Um, and that's mainly due to the hassle of placing these electric cables on every single street. Therefore, um, it costs a lot of money and uh, limits the number of places you can actually place these. However, um, they are eco-friendly, and um, I was reading an interesting Reddit article, which I'll put, leave a link to in the description if I can find it, which uh, basically focused on, uh, um, rather there was a guy asking the question, so uh, if um, everything's meant to be eco-friendly nowadays, why aren't our buses eco-friendly? And I found that interesting, um, and, be, and that inspired me to sort of, uh, it's a bit odd, but it inspired me to build a trolley bus to kind of promote, um, you know, uh, clean buses, I suppose. Anyway, so here is a really simple little one I've built, and I think we'll go right, and um, get right into it. So, start by placing two wool blocks here and here, these are the front wheels, and then two wool blocks here. And here, so there we've got this set up, and then what we're going to do is fill in the gaps with my favorite stone slabs. There we go. So just fill in all this here, and we've got this bit. Now, what you want to do is just extend it all out like so. And then again, like that. So we've got that thing there, this design. And then at the back, put them out one. Now let's get into the simple body of the trolley bus. So just place any block of your choice. I um, I obviously use clay. However, I um, I feel that I shouldn't really have used um, orange in the example because it doesn't really look bright enough. So I decided to use for this uh, version lime hardened clay, however wool might also work well for this, so if you want to use wool, um, just place wool blocks here, and then, let's see, yep, like so, for now I'll just place them like that, actually not like that, so we're going to have the windows, and then like that. So we have this design going on here, and then we're going to um, place the uh, front windows there, and back here. And uh, by the way guys, um, my friend actually Epic Game Freak, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description, uh, it was recently my birthday and so he bought me Bus Simulator 2016. Um, so obviously I'm sure you can guess what you do in that game. And basically, I might record some videos um, in Bus Sim, so you never know, you might see me driving something similar. Obviously, it might, I don't think they have trolley buses, but you'll certainly see me driving a few buses. So, um, that could be a, that's a potential series, which could be quite fun. Okay, and then the roof is not completely flat. We're going to elevate half a block. Like, whoops, like, uh, like so. Whoops, okie dokie there. So we've got this design going on. And then elevate these. Uh, is that correct? Yep, yeah, okay. So now for the electric cables up here. They are quite interesting, you know, trolley buses, uh, they're, uh, they're a bit unusual, aren't they? Um, so we just elevate them up like so. And a button, whatever, I'll do that, I'll just do it on the other side now. So then we've got them both done. There's only one drawback to, uh, you know, 
iron bars and that's, and that's that they are really hard to, um, and really annoying to place really so if you're willing to uh, you know so you can see how irritating it is to place them but they are very effective um, and for example last time in my tram video I mentioned that you can't really use unfortunately iron blocks or fences because they just look too bulky I mean fences potentially you could but I don't know, they just look a bit too bulky. This is so irritating, just placing these. Ugh, right. There we are, so that's done. And now for the best part, the details. So let's start off by grabbing s some ladders. And we'll do the grill here at the front. And then we'll grab the extremely useful item frames and glowstone. And place headlights so there and there so we've got those and now for the hubcaps one two three and four and we have those there and actually my mistake we do not need a door there so um what are we going to do now one crop many guys uh, now we need to grab some signs and up here at the top I'm going to place the destination. So, for example, this one is going to go to new, really, really boring name. I'm just going to call it new port. Sorry about noise, guys. Anyway, so here we've got new port and everything going on there. Um, and then by the side, the name of the company. I'm just going to name the. Uh, so I'm going to call it Minecraft Bus Company. Rather uncreative of me there. And um, so we've got this going on, and now for the hubcaps, one, two, and three, and four, so we've got this now, and for the um, actual door, I used an acacia door which looks good in this texture pack, um, which is Flows HD, um, and the reason I did so is simply because it's an orange bus, you know, and I thought in this case it made it look like more like a bus door since it's sort of see-through made of glass um, and plastic, but however I don't think that's going to be good for our bus whoops, over here simply because it's not orange, so I'm going to end up using um, either an iron door or an oak door, I'm just going to use an oak door for this one, but that, that's a bit of a bummer because if, um, if they had these in different colours then that would obviously be a lot better, and now I just need to Add, if I'm not mistaken, just check this. Um, one second. Okay, so pretty much all the way around. Righty ho, guys. And now for the interior of Notre Bus. Not Notre Dame, Notre Bus. But anyway, so you've got this. So grab some stairs. I'm going to use oak wood stairs, but you could always use quartz if you want to have a slightly modern bus. This one is. Um, I consider it more retro looking, so um, that's why I'm going to use oak wood stairs just to make it look a bit more retro. At the back I'm going to just place it like that, and then so on. Now for the driver's stuff, such as the steering wheel, steering wheel, I'm going to get an item frame and I'm going to place a glass pane. That's the best thing I've found when it comes to looking like a steering wheel, but if you have something else then go ahead. Um, in fact, leave a um, comment below if you've found anything better. So I'm just going to place here, gear lever, whatever, anyway, and um, then let's just grab some two more item frames. Whoops. Uh, here, here, and place just some random buttons that you might find in a bus, I suppose. So, red one there, and a just maybe not green and uh, find a pink button, whatever. So then we've got some stuff there, guys. And um, we are nearly finished. We just need to get item frame. I'm constantly using item frames. That just shows you how useful they are. Whoops, red stone. And then brake lights. One, two, three, four. And then final detail, one, 
to you. I actually didn't add this on the other bus, I should have, but uh, you can add them like this if you think it looks nicer. And then at the back here, I'm just going to place a uh, little thing. Right, root 20. You could always just put the destination. I, for some reason, decided to write root 20. You could just write the root, any of the root number. So that's just a really quick little build, guys. I probably won't be doing too many uh, uh, more of these vehicle tutorials right now because I've got a few other games which I'm going to play. But um, if you did enjoy this, then uh, leave a like, um, comment, and subscribe. And um, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.